It's officially the cozy time of the year, which means seasonal drinks and Christmas shopping. And I'm super excited because in this video, I have compiled up to 30 plus gift ideas from little luxuries to wellness essentials that will certainly bring a smile to anyone's face. So grab a coffee, a pen and a notebook, and let's dive into the ultimate Christmas wish list guide for 2024. All right, so we're going to start off first with cozy essentials. So some of the things that I have on the Cozy Essentials gift guide is a glass tea kettle. I don't know about you, but I've been seeing these everywhere and they're so adorable. They look so cozy. I've been dreaming of having one. I feel like it would just give me so much more motivation to actually make myself a cozy little glass of tea. Also, it looks amazing, literally goes any aesthetic. It's glass, it's clear. So that is at the top of my list, along with a tea variety pack. I've heard about raspberry tea, which is really good for period symptoms. I've heard spearmint tea is really good for like skincare and acne. I love having a nice glass of tea at the end of a day, just curling up with a book or watching a show. I love using it to help me sleep at night. Chamomile is one of my favorites. So I feel like along with that tea kettle, a tea variety pack, including like maybe some spearmint tea or even matcha tea. I really want some matcha powder. So I actually heard that matcha is actually better for you than coffee because of the slow caffeine release. I also have on the Cozy Essentials a matching pajama set. I really want a matching pajama set. When I tell you I literally have been sleeping in oversized shirts for way too long, I feel like having a matching pajama set is just so essential to creating just that cozy night in where you can just throw on your pajamas, you feel cute, even if you're literally going to bed, you feel all nice and cute and put together. You know, you really just have to make the most out of the little things in life. I feel like a matching pajama set would go perfect, but that glass of tea and that tea kettle and everything, just the perfect little cozy essential gift. So matching pajama set, and you can find those, I heard at like Old Navy, you can find them on Amazon. You don't have to get an expensive one. Like I'm not one to buy expensive things. So you can even sometimes thrift them. Another thing on the cozy, the essentials is a cute journal and a set of cute little pens to go along with a journal. Journaling is amazing. As a Christian, journaling is really important to me. I try to do the soap method and all those things and kind of just journal my thoughts. And even if you're not a Christian, it's so great to just journal and reflect on what you're thankful for. Maybe to create to-do lists and all those things. Journaling is just a wonderful habit to pick up. So buying someone a cute journal will probably help motivate them and it might motivate you as well to start journaling. Finally, on the cozy essentials list, I have some cute slippers because honestly, having slippers makes such a difference, especially if you have hardwood floors. Your feet will be freezing if you step on them bare. And also you don't want to bring like whatever's in your house, even though vacuum all the time, I still feel like weird going in my house barefoot and then going in my bed. I don't know if you know what I mean. You can find so many different slippers on Amazon and whatnot. And there's so many fun prints. I love the little cow print slippers or the ones with the smiley faces. Like this, they're so cute. I really want one of those. The next section is books. I am a book nerd. I love reading. So I'm going to start this list off with The Midnight Feast by Lucy Foley. The Midnight Feast is essentially just like a folk horror book where this girl named Francesca inherits a manor that has a very dark past and is also surrounded by some pagan folklore about these birds that basically will take revenge on you for bad things that you've done in the past. And Francesca has a very bad past. And so whenever she turns this manor into basically this luxury retreat, the past comes back to her on the grand opening night. And there's a bunch of different stories intertwined. So it switches to different viewpoints of characters in the story that are all very important. It's a really good, it keeps you on the edge of the seat novel, a slow burning mystery is what they call it. The second book on the list is The Herbalist by Heather Morrison Tapley. And it's essentially just a super cozy, romance novel about this woman who moves from New York City to this small town in England and takes on the role of an herbalist which is essentially someone that heals people through using like herbal elixirs kind of like the good witch and she falls in love. The third book that's on my list I have not read it yet it's called Before the Coffee Gets Cold by it's Toshikaza. Sorry, sorry guys. Toshikaza Kuwagachi. A story about a Tokyo cafe that allows customers to travel back in time as long as they return before their coffee gets cold. 
cold. The fourth book on my list is The Dare by Natasha Preston. I actually found this at Target the other day and I started the book and read like 30 pages in like five minutes just sitting on the Target floor because of how great that it got me. So The Dare by Natasha Preston is essentially a book about these seniors who have to do these senior pranks and some of them turn very deadly and life altering. So another one of those edge of your seat thrillers. The fifth is Never Lie by Frida McFadden and this is a book about a young couple who ends up stranded at an open house during a blizzard. They basically find out that the house belonged to a strange woman that disappeared three years ago. So of course, once again, another mystery. As you can tell, I'm a big mystery girl. I love mystery. I've been quite on a mystery kick lately. The sixth thing on the books list is an ex actually a book, but it's a book embosser kit. I want one of these so, so bad. Right here, as you can see, it's basically just putting your own little mark on a book that you loved reading. So that way, whatever you put it on your shelf and like maybe years later, your kids can come and see that the books that you loved and you truly were like, this deserves a mark of mine. Like I love this book. I feel like that would be so, so cool. So a Bic Embosser kit would be a really great idea. As well as cute little bookmarks. Bookmarks are always a timeless and adorable gift. I love receiving bookmarks because you literally always use them. So bookmarks is another simple, affordable, and cute gift as well. And then the final gift on the books list is a Amazon Kindle holder and clicker. I don't actually own one of these. But let me tell you, it is up there on my list because it's so cool. You don't have to hold your Kindle anymore. If you ever want to be lazy in bed, you can literally lay flat and read your book with it right above you. I just think that's such a cool concept. Now we're going to do a quick section of timeless gifts for just the person that you don't know exactly what they want or you don't know too much about them or maybe you're getting it for like a white elephant gift exchange. So the first one is the Target gift card. I love receiving tar Target gift cards. When I tell you, I can literally go into Target hours and walk around with some Starbucks and just literally window shop for hours. Target is a wonderful gift card to give as well as a Starbucks gift card. That one's pretty timeless as well. Everyone loves a good cup of coffee, a seasonal beverage. And the last thing is a Chick-fil-A gift card. The Lord's Chicken, you really can't go wrong with that. Everyone loves them, some Chick-fil-A. So those are all really wonderful and timeless gifts to give people. Next section we are going to go into is kind of like a fitness, balanced lifestyle kind of section. And the first thing I have on this is a little bit more pricier, but you can definitely find deals for this. It's a walking treadmill. I have a walking treadmill, I work from home, it is a literal life saver. Like I love my walking treadmill so much because I often find myself just sitting for hours and whenever I'm sitting for hours, it just makes me feel like sluggish and tired. And I feel like I get some of my best ideas whenever I'm like out for a walk and whenever it's winter time in New Jersey, it's freezing. I don't feel like going outside all the time. And I literally can just hop on my walking pad and go for a little stroll, watch some YouTube, get your steps in. And mine even goes up to like 7.6 miles per hour. So sometimes I'll run at home on it. So pretty snazzy. A standing desk is also a life changer because that allows you to do work while you're walking on your treadmill. Definitely a challenge that I had to learn, but it's not that hard actually. I just have to walk at a slower pace and I can still like write and type and stuff. Pretty cool. The third thing on the fitness list is also a little bit up there in price, but there's so many different options. It's a fitness watch. My favorite is the Apple watch because you can pair it with your phone and you can receive text messages and you can see your camera from there and everything like that. Very, very great. This is kind of what mine looks like. I've got a very old version because I'm one of those people that will use something until literally it just falls apart. So I've had this forever, but I do hope to get the new one eventually. Just something that you can track your fitness with is pretty cool, especially if you're like into running. I know running is very popular right now. I myself have gotten more into running and it honestly is such a game changer for tracking distance and speed and even seeing your calories burn and whatnot. The fourth thing on my fitness list is a massage gun and that also can be a little expensive, but there's also plenty of reasonably priced massage gun prices. So I got mine on Black Friday. We got the Theragun, but there's so many different options. I don't think you need to get the Theragun. If you do want to get it, I definitely recommend waiting for Black Friday, but there's so many other brands out there that, are just, that do just the same thing and get the job done. And it makes such a difference, especially for leg day, y'all. And then the fifth thing, and it's very simple and it's often overlooked, I feel like, but a foam roller. My husband actually got a foam roller for his mom a couple Christmases ago and she loved it so much because let me tell you it is so nice to roll out your back and just kind of crack your back on a foam roller and next section on this Christmas wish list guide is beauty 
So for beauty, on the top of my list is the Mix Bar Spray from Target. When I tell you guys, this is the best non-expensive perfume I have found lately. Wonderful stocking stuffer, wonderful gift for her. It smells so good. The quality is wonderful. It actually is long lasting, especially the perfume. My favorite flavor is the vanilla bourbon. I know there's also so many other flavors. There's like hibiscus, passion fruit, so many flavors. They're all so, so good. So definitely recommend the Mix Bar Spray from Target. The second thing I have is the Maria Badescu, Badescu Lip Mask. That's a lip mask that I've been using and I started with the Laneige Lip Mask but I switched to Maria Badescu because it's a little more affordable and it does honestly a better job for me. It tastes amazing. It does a wonderful job especially in cold climates so I highly recommend that lip mask and then along with that lip mask it would pair perfectly with like a lip scrub. Lip scrubs are wonderful especially with getting that nasty dry skin that always builds up during the cold months on your lips. And the fourth thing on my beauty list is some scrunchies, just some fun color scrunchies are always timeless. I still love scrunchies to this day. I don't think we'll ever get over those to be honest. And then the final thing on the beauty list is a spa headband. So kind of just like something to put your hair back whenever you wash your face and do your skincare. Such a game changer. And then another option for the beauty list that's wonderful to get during Black Friday is the little skincare set. So I love the Ordinary brand. There's so many different brands that you can find out there that are so great, especially in a, on Black Friday. They all come in little packs and come with wonderful products. Price tags. Okay, so the final thing on this Christmas wish list guide is the for him section. So I've compiled four little things for him because I don't know about you, but it's so hard to think of gifts for my husband because I mean, I can think of a list of gifts for girls, but whenever it comes to guys, I'm like, I don't know. So I had to do some research and just kind of thinking about what my husband likes. And honestly, one of the first things I want to say is it might sound silly, but an electric toy car. When I tell you guys, my husband was so ecstatic to see that he received an electric toy car last year. He played with it for hours. He literally still plays with it to this day. Like men, they're always going to have that inner child flair in them to get so that gets so excited to collect little cars and toy cars and all that fun stuff. Second thing on the list is hats. So a cute hat like Carhartt hats or just all those cute little hat brands. Third thing on the list is a protein shaker bottle. My husband literally has a protein shake all of the time. He loves his protein powder. So a protein shaker bottle like Heli Mix bottle is a wonderful non-electric option. It literally shakes the protein up without those little balls inside. So it's really cool. And then the fourth thing on the list is a scratch off travel map. I feel like that would be a wonderful gift idea, just kind of a fun creative idea for a guy to put up in his office or his little men's room, his little men's room, man cave, that's what it is, the man cave. I feel like that would be a really cool option, especially if he loves to travel. Then some other personal things that I have on my list that maybe would inspire you too is I really want to get a pair of walking and running shoes. So I recently found out that you need to different shoes for each thing and I've really gotten into running and I always walk so I feel like I need two different shoes to vote to that and a sun lamp because I live in New Jersey and it gets really cloudy and cold. Hope this is helpful. Thanks so much for watching guys. I just also want to remind everyone that we need to keep the Christ in Christmas. Christmas is all about Jesus at the end of the day and giving gifts is just a way that we can love one another. So once again I really hope this video is helpful. I love you guys so much. I wish you the best time of the year.